Okay, short update. Still working on the uh, boat for the siren. Started shaving it down. I put the bottom lift on, started shaving it down. Added some more pieces of wood in the front because I shaved it too much. Probably with my guides to get a rough estimate. Don't use those as an exact fit for anything because you're never going to get it. And I have the four and a half sections of the keel so I can make sure they'll fit. I've not started on the inside yet. Just the outside. This is just some Dremel work and some uh, sandpaper and a little block plane. So that's right with that. Still working on it. And I will continue that and come back with the next video at some point in time. Thank you. Over here. Get some carving, doing some filling, carving some more. I got it pretty well shaped. As you see by this mess on my desk, I've got the Dremel here with a bit on it to carve out the interior and the exterior. A couple of gouges, a carving knife, sandpaper, various sanding pads. It's not, this is not something that can really be shown of how to carve it. It's just something you're going to have to experience yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Once I get done with the final shape, I'm going to have to just skim coat it with some filler and sand it down again before I paint it. They're saying this edge should be no thicker than the 16th, but it should be a 32nd all the way down to the bottom. If you want to do that, go for it. More power to you. I'm not going to take it down to that thin. I'm going to keep it more of like a 16th of an inch. So I have some carving to do back here on the transom. And the interior needs flat and sand it down. I need to really get in here and shape this the, the bow section. Hard to do because you need something that can really get in there. But it's also curved to fit. Um, at the end of the day, though, a lot of this on the interior is going to be covered up by grates and whatnot. There's ribs going across. I think there's floorboards, there's the thwarts, there's the knees, all sorts of stuff. And plus, this top edge is going to be cut down a bit in the center from here to here. And then it looks like almost a full lift down in the center. While you're carving it, I'm showing it this way. I don't know how the camera's picking it up. But you can actually see where the light's coming through in spots of the wood itself right here there's a big line where the lights come through it's getting so thin and right here we're actually patched up once already and those are going to be roughly on this seam right here and right here so i can't say any more there really got to plan on filling it back in a little bit probably but it'll get there so I'm going to go back to shaping this down and come back when it is fully shaped. So here I am with the boat. I have used the Dremel, sandpaper, files, and everything in my mark arsenal to get it shaped down. Had to do some filling with wood and wood putty to get it all nice and smooth. The inside I used the Dremel burrs to get it ground down and then puttied it and sanded it down by hand. Used the laser cut piece for the top to shape it get close to shape get two of these so we well, want to be sacrificial but i think what i'm going to do when i do it i'm going to squeeze the front and split the back to make it so it fits better but this interior while it still looks a little rough it's going to get ribs sole plate thwarts the windlass knees grates all sorts of stuff in it so it's not like you're this is going to be standing out at you real real heavy plus it's going to have the oars in here for it so a lot will be hidden. So I'm going to leave the video with this. Next time we come back, this outside will be painted. I'll be working on getting the interior details in. So with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.